One of the roles of next generation PLM for companies seeking to compete in this era of smart connected products is to design the things for the Internet of Things. The design of connected products requires a systems engineering approach to development encompassing the mechanical, electrical, and software aspects of these products. And these complex products need to be constantly updated with the latest software to ensure high performance, availability, and of course product quality. More closely integrating PLM and ALM, or application lifecycle management, is critical to achieve collaborative and iterative software development that is the lifeblood of connected products. The benefit to designers and engineers of connected products, they can communicate with OEMs about quality issues and failure modes, leading to faster reactive service. These same products can also communicate usage and performance information over time, which can then be used to improve existing products and spark innovation. This is the first time in the history of products that we can truly track the life cycle of a product. Product lifecycle analytics are key to enabling this as they serve as a decision support mechanism or virtual bridge between manufacturer, customer, product, and service. Speaking of service, it's important for product development to plan for how a connected product will be monitored, maintained, and serviced during the design phase. What type of sensors are needed to help identify performance issues? Are there additional services we can offer if we add sensors, including smart replenishment of consumables? Where should they be placed? And how should we structure the communication between the product in its working environment and our services team? What is the process for sharing a subset of data coming off the connected product with the quality team? All of these questions need to be addressed during the product design phase to ensure that closed-loop product and service life cycles are successful. 